Wendy, the emails to go public just keep coming. More than 1,500 from past and present employees of all the big banks, RBC, TD, BMO, CIBC, and Scotiabank, many of them describing high-pressure tactics to reach sales targets that they say have skyrocketed in recent years and encouraged unethical behavior. We're concealing the identities of bank employees like this BMO financial services manager who recently quit. He says his manager told him to lie to customers to hit sales revenue targets. She asked us to not disclose interest rates, um, to uh, hide interest rates and to um, manipulate or lie about market conditions on investments. An RBC certified financial planner says she's seen colleagues push credit cards even in times of distress. I've seen elderly clients come in for an estate, so the executor, the spouse has come in, they just lost their elderly uh, part of the spouse, and I've seen them up sell a visa to this person. In email after email, bank employees describe a widespread culture of high-pressure sales. If we don't get our targets, we get yelled at, writes one employee. Many say there is shaming and bullying if employees don't sell enough. Everyone's results were posted, so you always knew where you or your co-workers stood, who was bringing the branch down. If someone has a tactic or a way of tricking or misleading clients into more sales, they are required to share with the team. And now the federal bank watchdog, the Financial Consumer Agency of Canada, has announced it will begin a review next month. The Canadian Bankers Association says it will fully cooperate. The recent reports have prompted calls for a parliamentary inquiry. The phenomenon of those uh, uh, selling bad products or toxic products or, or increasing the personal debt of the consumers, that's really unacceptable and it, this, this is not how the system should work. This investor advocate wants a political inquiry too that actually leads to change. We've got a culture that exists on greed, lying, and deceiving people and it's not going to end soon and this is why the only solution really is to have government step in and look after the Canadian people. None of the bank CEOs would give GoPublic an interview. Instead, they provided statements, essentially saying they're committed to acting in the customer's best interest. At least one bank is trying to control the message. In an internal email obtained by GoPublic, TD tells branch staff, if asked whether they have sales goals, to reply, I do, but more importantly, I have the motivation to help you by providing outstanding service and advice. But you're not just and hearing from banks writing to us about sales targets. Uh, we're also hearing from bank employees, and they are saying that the pressure to meet sales targets is also taking a toll on their health. They write about having panic attacks, how they are experiencing stress, many of them going on medical leave because of that stress. Some employees saying they decided to leave the industry altogether because of the pressure to meet sales targets and their unwillingness to act unethically.